All right, my beautiful followers, good morning and welcome to today's class. Um, this is still on the automatic changeover switch, making use of three different power sources. Solar power, mains or utility, and generator. All right, so we've concluded with the control system. And if we can um, do a recap of how this works, just for the people that missed uh, the previous class. Uh, what is expected here is that solar power is the priority source. What that means is that if solar power is available, the mains and the genset should not be used. They must not be used. If solar fails and these two are available, only mains should be used. But in the absence of solar and mains, we can now make use of the generator set. What that means is that if these two fail, that is the only time genset will work. And if this one fails, it is only mains that should work. Okay, so what that means is if we have our genset, this is the source of power to the genset. If we put it on, it's not going to come on, it will delay for some seconds. And then it comes on, all right? If for some reason we have power on mains, so we simulate that by putting on this breaker. That is how we send power to this uh, mains. And now we have mains. Once mains is active, this one will disconnect immediately. And this one delays for some seconds and it closes. I think this time is a bit short. Maybe I will top it up a bit. All right, so, but if solar is available, it should be able to deactivate any of these two that is working. So let us put on the solar. It has disconnected this one, and after a few seconds, it will close. So that is what we have. And when this one is on, even when these ones are off, or when you put them on, nothing is going to work. It's just going to be like that, even if you leave them to delay for um, more time, okay? So we're going to put everything off. All right, so what we want to do now is that we are done with the control. We're now going to connect the power lines. What I mean is the main power source coming from the main breaker of solar. We're going to connect it here. All right, we're going to do a three-phase power source. All right, so this solar is going to be three-phase that will come in here. And mains is going to be three-phase that will come in here. And generator is going to be three-phase that will come in here. And now we're going to have three phases that will come out, which is going to be the main uh, power output. All right. So for us to do that, um, we're going to start by connecting our power lines. We'll start by connecting this, our red, the red phase. We're going to connect it to the input, and then we we'll tighten it with our Allen key. Okay, that is done. And then the next is our yellow phase. We're going to connect it on this one. Let's slack this out a little bit. And then the next is our blue face. I'm going to insert it here. So we are done with the solar power line. Okay? That's our solar power line connected. Then the mains. We're going to start with the red. And then the yellow. We'll slack this out a bit, and then the blue phase, we'll insert it here. All right, that is the three phase from mains. That's the three phase from mains, as you can see here. All right, and then the generator set. Connect the red phase. And then we we'll connect the yellow phase, we we'll slap it out, and then the blue phase, we'll set and lock, and then we we'll tighten it. So I think the next thing to do is let us take off these indicators, because now the output is going to be only one set of three phase, which is red, yellow, and blue. So we're not going to, to um, represent this power on an individual basis, it's going to be the power that is going to come out. So I'm going to take this off. So the next thing to do is 
gonna slack out this all these places. Let's have enough space for our cables. Okay, so the first thing to do is to loop red to red. This is red from solar. I'm gonna loop it to the next one, which is red on mains. When we achieve that, we are now going to loop the same red from mains this way to the red of generator. And then we close it. Let us close this one first. So we'll lock this one. And uh, let's leave this one a bit for now. Then the next is we're going to loop the yellow from solar. I'm going to loop it to the yellow of mains. And then, of course, we're going to loop it again. But first, let's lock this one. To the yellow of genset. Okay. So we just try to hold it down a little bit. So the next is to look the blue from solar. So we we'll lock it this way, and then we we'll loop this one to here, and then of course this one. So I'll put it here, lock. And then of course it comes to the blue of genset. So the next thing to do is to connect our indicators. Okay, so this is going to be our red indicator. Of course, we're going to connect it to the red phase. Okay, this is our red phase. This is going to be our yellow phase indicator. So of course, it's going to dwell in the same place as our yellow terminal. So that's where it goes. So that is our yellow phase. For some reason, I don't have a blue indicator, so I'm going to use this green, but I will give a mark. So it's going to dwell in the same place as our blue terminal. Set this in and lock it. So we have our indicators fully connected. All right, this looks good, except here. So the next is to connect the neutral. I'm going to connect this neutral here, the indicator neutral. Then I'm going to jump this neutral also. I'll jump this neutral also. To the red indicator. Which is on this side. So the next is to connect our neutral. So this is our neutral and set it here and we'll lock it okay so maybe I'll just put this here to indicate that it is blue it's not green but I don't have that blue indicator okay 
So the next thing to do is to do a recap of what we have done. So here we have connected the three phase coming from solar. We've connected the three phase coming from mains. We have also connected the three phase coming from the generator. So what happens now is the output of the three phase coming from solar goes into the three phase coming from mains and also goes into the three phase coming from genset. And then the major output is going to be connected from here or from here or from here. So let us see. So I'm going to use very short wires to just show you where we're going to connect the main load cable. So I'm going to slack out these ones. So this is our red. This is our yellow. And this is our blue. So here we have the red line, the yellow line, and the blue line. This goes to the main load of the entire system. These are just the indicators. But for us to confirm that, yes, we have our three phase present, we're going to run our test again. So we're going to start the generator, start it this way. And it's going to delay for some seconds. You see, we have three phase complete. And then if for some reason, mains is restored and mains comes back up it's going to disconnect this one immediately this one will go off and then after some few seconds delay on this one this one will activate and there will be power on this load again so the load is off and then after this delay the three phase is back up again so if solar comes back and up it's going to disconnect the power going to the load delays for some seconds here and then this one will energize sending power to the load so let us activate solar it's off some seconds and we have our load back so if you have any question on this video uh, please let me know in the comment section or send me a private message share this video with your friends and invite them to follow me for more tips on power thank you very much